here at BWI on a busy summer day, we expect to screen more than 40,000 people a day. Nationwide, 2.5 million people a day will be screened. And the TSA just boosted its workforce, adding 2,000 officers to handle the influx of flyers this summer. Uh, we, we have seen all over the world that the terrorists are targeting uh, air travel. If you're taking off from BWI, depending on your destination, you may find enhanced security screenings on your way home. The TSA is testing new checkpoint procedures at 10 U.S. locations, requiring passengers to pull a range of items out of their carry-ons from books and food to papers and put them in those bins. The TSA calls it divesting. What you're seeing is that because check baggage fees are 25 or 35 or sometimes more, but people want to avoid checking a bag, so they cram as many things as they can in their carry-on bags, and so they're more cluttered. More clutter gums up the works in the x-ray line, and the program could potentially expand down the road, according to TSA officials, who also confirm they're already asking airlines to step up enforcement of the two-item carry-on limit as the agency continues considering a wider cabin laptop ban on transatlantic flights. In fact, discussions continue this week between U.S. security officials and their European counterparts. The Department of Homeland Security is currently considering the possible expansion of that laptop Band, no decision has been made. Some decisions for passengers to make while packing keep these summer centric items in your checked bags nine volt batteries, water guns, and interestingly enough, one of the most common things people peanut bring peanut butter and jelly. You put it in the sandwich, bring it through the checkpoint. One item to leave home altogether sparklers. TSA officials say don't even bother bringing them into the terminal. At BWI, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL, TV 11 News.